All right, folks, so in this video, I wanted to look at the Amazon Fire 43-inch 4K TV. This is the Amazon Fire version. And just give you my thoughts on it for uh, 4K gaming. So without even actually playing it, this is the first time I've looked at it. These, uh, the overall picture quality is actually outstanding from what I'm seeing. Um, if this was QLED or OLED, be another story. But, uh, you know, for a 60 hertz TV, this looks pretty darn good. Now, the game I'm playing is Battlefield 5. And uh, I think initial settings, let's check what the initial settings are. We're at 4K. So 60 hertz, no way to adjust that on here. All right. Now there is slightly interesting. I'll have to look at the owner's manual. See if we have slightly better resolution. So we have uh, motion blur. Usually we drop that down quite a bit advanced under advanced we want to check the quality and start off that was weird I want to jump up to ultra so we have the best absolutely the best picture right now vertical sync we want to shut that off because we don't want the frame rate to um, be controlled by our 60 hertz limit. And we may have to, um, we're going to have to probably add, scale up the FPS so you can read it. So frame rate limiter, we'll never see 200 because I'm not going to play uh, anything less than 1080p. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Now, I've played this previously on a 4K monitor and there was nothing, there was no HDR posted here so this is pretty nice folks. Move the slider until the boxes are the same brightness and it looks like 1 has to go, keep going So the one on the right is really white. I don't think I'm ever going to get the same brightness. Um, but there you go. That's as good as it can get. All right, so let's uh, let's check out a little gameplay. All right, so the frame rate per second is unreadable. So. I've got this written down. We're going to go grab it real quick. I'll be back. All right, so we have our um, frame rate up there in the upper right corner. And hopefully I'll remember to leave this down below in case you would like to know what the command is. I'm going to see if I can make it bigger than 10, though. Okay, I believe that is readable. So we're gonna hit tilde, get out of here. All right. So let's go ahead and get going. So right now we're in the low 30s for uh, frame rate, and this is uh, this is actually a pretty good graphics card. So the fact that it's at least able to do 4K at a decent setting is nice. Now, of course, would it be better? Would it be better if we could um, actually play at a higher frame rate? Yes, it would. So in a little bit, we'll change the frame rate.
missed. Definitely want to take this guy out. All right, we're going to tore up. So they got a flare, they're going to start bombing me. We're going to get out of here. So, you know, 30 frames per second is uh, 30 to 40. It's not quite what you'd want, right? You want to be hitting the close to the 60 range. So we're going to go ahead and adjust the... Um, somebody's shooting at me. Let me try and find a safe spot. We're going to change the settings. Oh, look what we have here. Do we get a reload on our grenades? No, we don't get a reload. Oh, direct hit. All right, so not so hot. I'm having to play this with very little light on my keyboard. Which, if you're out there, I could definitely, uh, somebody's out there and wants to supply me with a RGB keyboard, I would love it. Alright, so let's go ahead and change this because I want to get as close to 60 as I can and still have smooth gameplay. Excuse me, I want to get to as close to 60 as I can and still have a quality image on the screen. Alright, so that did very little. We're, we're actually uh, we're in the mid-30s. Let me drop down to, uh, let's do medium. Hit the medium. And I keep hitting that button. I wish I wouldn't have put the binoculars right next to this. Alright, so 50, low 50s, I'm just sitting still. It's a little higher. Now, this is actually um, this is smoother. Is it ideal? Not necessarily. But it's not bad. Alright, so now we're hitting the 40s. Alright, so hopefully I'll kill these guys this time. He had no chance against this gun. This has got to be one of the deadliest guns in this game. So one thing I don't like about this gun is that magazine gets in your way. You need to be attacking from right to left. And we're about to die again. Just like that. 
All right, so this game, it looks really good on this monitor in 4K. Uh, obviously the graphics card is not quite up to the task though. Let's drop down to uh, 2K. I was really hoping we would do, uh, we'd be able to do 4K gaming at a very high resolution. Now, now that we're back to we're to 2K, let's see what we can run this at. Can we hit Ultra? And for some reason, our um, screen has gotten dark. They're very odd. I don't think I changed anything. I'll have to go back and view the video. But where this had a nice vibrant uh, picture to it, it now is uh, really dark and crappy. So let me uh, let me try and do something with our Fire TV here. This is on set, folks. So the question will be, was it the TV set or the monitor that is now acting funky? All right, so it looks it looks good again, right? That's weird. So we are hitting 60, folks. This is uh, 2K, I believe. Oops. I want to pay attention to what we're doing. So we're 2K medium right now. Easily hitting 660, and that's not where we want to be, though. So we want to change this. Actually, it says it says ultra. That is amazing. Two K, and we're ultra. Vertical sync. I want it off. I'm not sure why that came back on. If you're watching this, you know that I shut that down, so it's kind of odd. But that would explain why it was limited to 60 frames per second. So now we're in the low 60s. This is definitely very, very playable. That guy's not there this time. We got to get out of here. So it seems amazing to me that uh, the Germans would fire on their own guys. All right, so here's a tower. Let's see if there's anything up here we can, anybody we can get.
pretty cool views. So I gotta say Battlefield 5 looks incredible on the Amazon Fire TV. Um, you know, could be a slight lag from what I'm seeing. Yikes. Will they blow up their own tower? It looks like they will. And probably not before I run out of ammo. I don't see this guy's gun, so it must have fell off. Let's switch to our other gun. This is not going to help, probably. Or at least we killed a few guys off. We're getting blasted, folks. Oh, we didn't make it in. My guy is almost dead. We gotta find some cover. So frame rates are really good. Like I said, there's a little lag in the TV. Um, picture quality is incredible. This is probably the best picture I've ever seen playing a video game. Okay, I have that gun already. on fire folks So it'd be nice if they had some good guns here for me. All right, but all right. So I hope you've enjoyed this a little bit. I uh, got an idea. Um, next week, uh, maybe not next week. Next month, I will probably get in a uh, 50 or 55 inch 120 hertz TV, and uh, we'll do the same thing have some fun and uh, hopefully hopefully that one will game a little smoother I don't, I'm not sure the picture could be any better when you densely populate all the uh, pixels into a uh, 43 inch screen it's a pretty good image And so, in case you didn't catch it, I'm using a uh, i3-9100. So if I had a my i5 in here, which is going to happen after this video is over, it'll be time to re-upgrade it, and then as well as a CPU cooler. Then uh, we will. So I was in here. We'll be able to game a little better. Right there, you see how high those frame rates are. There's no real action going on, but uh, you can go that way. We are in the 80s, so this is uh, this is pretty good.
So why they let you go this way? Uh, go upstairs. Of course. Nothing this way. So I'm looking for some prisoner. And I'm thinking he's got to be in one of these buildings. But where is the question? So when I twirled around there, it, the screen does not look that great, folks. Um, even though we had that high frame rate. Pick up letter. Okay. Collected silly ideas. I think we're getting warm. They wouldn't create all this for nothing. Or would they? Looks like a dead end, folks. Ooh, we can go out this way. Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, yeah, buddy. Take that. There's the prisoner. Frame rates drop down. So yeah, using a uh, ninth gen Intel i3-9100 MSI AMD RX Vega 56, which is uh, really, in my opinion, a good graphics card. Nobody really talks about it. Let me change. Uh, I'm going to bump this up a little. Only because I can. See if it's a little smoother. All right, so once again we have. Um, it's really odd with this TV that it automatically keeps bumping, turning vertical sync back on. My monitor um, does not do that, so I'm kind of surprised by that. Defend Astrid. Where are they coming from? Probably going to run out of ammo. What is that gun? Uh-oh. So... So there's some things happening that I'm not sure whether it's the uh, graphics card or my... Um, my monitor. Which is kind of scary. So let's go back to options because I think it's a, it's changing things on us again. Motion blur. I had dropped this down. We're still doing 2K. Vertical sync is still off. We're at high. 
And let's, let's kill the Nazis. Let's get them. Okay, so changing the motion blur back, which is where I thought it was, um, definitely is making it feel smoother. But I cannot, uh, okay, I guess I, I can't actually shoot her even though I'm following her. But yeah, so, um, motion blur, uh, which I thought was on this whole time, or dropped down quite a bit helps make the game smoother and uh, not perfect though folks alright so check back for uh, next month when I do this with 120 Hertz monitor thanks for checking out please like please subscribe